So Elad is here with me, and she's been mentioned in a lot of my videos because of book recommendations. And Libby is behind the camera, so she's just chilling. Anyway, today we are doing the ultimate book tag, and it's 25 questions, so we're going to try and get through it before, you know, it's 25 minutes long. Okay, <laughs> first question. Do you get sick while reading in the car? Okay, well, I actually do get sick in the car. I can't read in the car unless the car is not moving. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I also get really sick in the car if I read. I actually get sick in the car even if I don't read. So, <laughs> you know, reading in the car makes it even worse. Okay. okay, number two. Which author's writing style is completely unique to you and why? I'll go first. Um, I say Rainbow Rowling. Rainbow yeah. Rowling. You know, she just like her books are just like really awesome, and yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna say John Green because like every one of his books kind of have like a different kind of idea to it. Like *In Abundance of Catherine's has like footnotes at the bottom of the page, and like *The Falls in Our Stars* has like little like pictures in it, you know, with the diagrams and stuff. So, so um. I just think John Green because in every book he kind of tries to do something new and different. Okay, three, Harry Potter series or the Twilight Saga? Okay, so I'm going to go with Harry Potter, obviously. obviously. <laughs> um, fun fact, I've never actually read the Twilight Saga. I've kind of made sure that I'm never going to read it. <laughs> but Harry Potter, I guess, just because the characters are so interesting and the world is like amazing and who wouldn't want to go to Hogwarts? So. Okay, so I agree with you, Ed, because I've never read the Twilight Saga, and I actually haven't completed the Harry Potter series because I'm a terrible person, and I've only read the first two. But when I was a kid, I thought I was going to Hogwarts, and... Still waiting for my letter. And I thought that my whole family were muggles, and I was the only witch, so... Yeah, I had an interesting childhood. Okay, in um, number four, do you carry a book bag? If so, what is in it? Oh, I'll go first. Okay, um, I don't really carry a book bag unless I'm, like, going to the library and it's not, like, a school day, but if I go somewhere, I normally bring a book with me because, you know, I don't want to get into awkward situations where you have to talk to people. Talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> so, kind of the same thing. I don't really, like, carry a book bag, but if I'll go somewhere, I'll have, like, a purse or something. And I'll have like my wallet and my phone and a book. Yeah, all of my bags have to fit a book in them. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise I can't buy them. Okay, five. Do you smell your books? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I used to do it privately until people started seeing me. <laughs> so now my friends notice it and kind of make fun of it. But they smell really good. And books smell really yeah. good. Like, honestly... Unless they're really old. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, some books smell like plasticky, and that's just gross, but some books, like library books, sometimes they smell like so good, and I don't even know. I don't even know how. Yeah. Number six, books with or without little illustrations. Well, she just read Wintertowns. I have, like, an obsession with Wintertowns. So, like, books with illustrations, uh, it's like an extra plus. Like, I don't go out of my way to find books with illustrations, but, like, if they have them, then it's cool. Well, like, I think, like, I like illustrations, but if it's, like, over the top or, yeah. like, you know, it's distracting me from, like, the actual plot, I won't enjoy it. But, like, if there's, like, a few pages where, like, there's, like, a comic or, like, like a little Venn diagram or, you know, <laughs> <laughs> anything like that, then, like, I'd be fine with it. It's, it's an extra plus when you're reading. Okay. Seven. What book did you love while reading but discovered later it wasn't quality writing? Okay, well, I just read Angel Fall by Susan E. And, I mean, like, it was really entertaining, but in the beginning, like, the writing wasn't the best, and it was kind of confusing. So, I mean, it's really entertaining, and it's a really good read, but it's not the best writing. I don't know. I don't really have this feeling, but, like, there are some books that I, like, really enjoy, and, like, I think it's amazing, and then I tell people, and they're like, this, that book, like, the writing sucked, and I was like, Oh, really? I thought it was really good. So I feel like it's kind of like personal preference, but, you know, like, 
Sometimes it's not really the riding, it's like the actual storm. Okay, um, number eight. Do you have any funny stories involving books from your childhood? What does that mean? I used to, like, I used to reread Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, like, like, all the time. Seriously, like, They Were My Love, it's all I would ever read, and, like, I would finish the series, read another book, and then reread the series. And, like, I still haven't read the new one, and it's hurting me because I need to know what happens. Well, like, I don't actually... I used to, like... Well, like, it's not really, like, funny or embarrassing, but, like, I used to check out, like, ten books from my library, read one, and then be like, oh, I don't want to read any of these, and then trudge all of them back to the library. Oh. And my friends would be like, you read all of those? And I'd be like... Not really, but, you know, I want to. And they weren't even, like, overdue. I just didn't want to read them anymore. Okay, nine. What is the thinnest book on your shelf? Well, we're at my house, so I'm just going to share mine and then you'll have it. Either this book from, it's like the special by Virgin book, and it's, like, kind of just about, like, the factions and stuff, and that came in the box set, or it's the book that I wrote. Yeah, I wrote a Fanana Rhymo and got it printed. It okay. doesn't smell good. <laughs> okay, thickest book? Um, so Harry Potter. Series. Yeah, this one I remember. Okay, okay this six. has seven hundred and. Okay, so that's my biggest. I think that's. How yeah, that's probably too. my biggest as well. Okay, these books. They're really big. Hey, look, this one. I has... actually, um, the first time I read Harry Potter, I stopped after Order of the Phoenix because it was too big, <laughs> and then I had to start again like a few years afterwards when I was older, and I read the last. Look two. how pretty, like, okay, these books, this copy, they have like, the, under the thing, they have like the same cover. Number one. eleven. Do you write as well as you read? Do you see yourself in the future as being an author? Okay, maybe when I was like four and I started reading, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I want to be a writer. And then I entered like middle school and I realized that my writing sucked. Oh, funny. So me yeah. Well. So, I mean, I want to have a, I, I want to have a job like related to books, like an author, not an author, not a librarian, a librarian <laughs> or like an editor or something. Maybe. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> I love to write, but I don't think I do it particularly well. I mean, I think I'm like a decent writer, but, you know, maybe not like an author or anything. Number 12, <laughs> what book? No! When did you get into reading? So, I think, okay, so my mom like always used to read with me when I was like, I think it was like in kindergarten or like first grade or something. And I mean, I used to have to read books for school and I would normally hate them, like, Honestly, I don't understand why they make you read those books because they all suck. Like, just like kids' books, they all suck. They never make you read like good children's fiction. They make you read like stupid books. <laughs> so I never really liked reading. And then I read the Judy Moody series, and it was like my love. And I read it. Um, okay, so when I was like in kindergarten, because I have an older sister and she had a bunch of books. So when I was in kindergarten, I, I, I've always wanted to read. So, like, I would hold the book like upside down. And like pretend to read, and I'd wait like a few seconds, and then I'd turn the page, and then I'd put it down and be like, okay, I'm done reading for the day. But then I think I started reading when I was like, really started reading like in like first grade and stuff, when like I would read like the Blue's Clues books with my dad and stuff, and like yeah. the Dora the Explorer books that had like little pictures under above the words. So, yeah. Okay. Number 13. What is your favorite classic book? read very many classics. I'm a bad person, but I like, I don't know, I don't know, you go. Okay, I read one classic, which is Pride and Prejudice, so I mean, I'm going to go with that one, but I'm planning to read Great Gatsby. So. Yeah, same here. I remember both like Great Gatsby. I'm going to borrow your Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I don't really know. I think I've read other classics. Oh, I've read Anne of Green Gables, and I really like, it gets so boring. Oh, really? and I also read The Secret Garden. I loved that book. Oh, I read A Little Princess. That was really good. No, I'll tell you why I bought The Secret Garden. So I was allowed to buy a book, and we were at, like, this garden store, and they had, like, a bookstore there, so, of course, I went into it. And this is when I was, like, really young, and my mom's friend was like, I'll buy you a book, so just pick one out. And like The Secret, the thing when the you secret Garden, like, came with a necklace. So I think that was, like, the only reason <laughs> I picked it. Like, it... I was like nine, so it was probably like really hard for me, but I was like, yeah, I want that necklace. Yeah, yeah, so I got that book. Okay, number 
14. In school, what's your best subject, language, arts, slash, English? Um, okay, I'm going to say yes. I'm still, I'm only in 8th grade, but humanities or, like, language arts has always been my favorite subject, and I, it's always, like, come easily to me, you know, like, I like it a lot more than math or science, so. Yeah, I'm the same, like, ever since I was younger, like, I always loved putting out books, I always loved reading, I always loved doing writing, so I yeah. still think, and, like, that's my best class, I always get good grades. Number 15, if you were given a book as a present that you had read before and hated, what would you do? I would give it away to charity, <laughs> or I would give it to the person that gave it to me and be like, you can read it. Okay. Okay, so personally, I would probably reread it because I feel like, some, no, but sometimes, <laughs> you know, like, if I have, have a book that I hated, like, two years before, then maybe if I read it now, I'll actually, like, really like it. So I'll probably reread it, and then if I still hate it, I would give it Just away. Just give it away. Um, number 16, what is a lesser known series that you know of that is similar to Harry Potter or The Hunger Games? Like, I would say legend or like the selection if you're into like sort of like dystopian but sort of like a competition. Okay, yeah. So um I recommend it. <laughs> like Shadow Me and Ignite Me. That's also kind of okay, so Whatever. two series would be um Under the Never Sky, the trilogy, which is Under the Never Sky, um, Through the Ever Night and Into the Still Blue. Or um the Shatter Me series, which is Shatter Me, Unravel Me and Ignite Me. That would be really good, because they're like, kind of like, dystopian. Okay. Question 17, what is a bad habit you always do while blogging? Um, I don't really, I don't know. I always like say that I'm going to read a certain amount of books, and then I like never do. So, I don't really like record videos. I don't. You blog. But I blog, and so I guess it's just like, talking too much about something that like nobody wants to hear about. And then you like add a bunch of details and then you'll read over and be like, why did I ever add that in? Like nobody cares. Okay. Question 18. What's, What's your, your favorite, favorite word? Um, Epiphany. I don't know. I, I like how it sounds. I don't, I don't really have a favorite word. Are you a nerd, dork, or dweeb? Or all of the above. Yeah, we're like book nerds. Okay, 20. Vampires or fairies? Why? Fairies. Fairies. Um, I just think they're like, their characteristics and the stories of fairies are always like so much better. Like vampires don't really interest me. Because like fairies, I think like you can be like a dark fairy or you can be like a like a like nice. You can have like a dark past as a fairy. Like you can have so many different different layers to the story if it's a, a fairy. But vampires are kind of like a lot of people know about them, and so like you can't really make something new and different. Twenty one shapeshifters or angels. I think we're gonna go with angels just because I think their their story is so much mm. dip. There's there's so much more interesting. And okay, twenty spirits. Twenty two spirits or vamp werewolves. 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 I find spirits creepy. Where I find werewolves like really cool. And werewolves, I would just put them together with um, mm -hmm. Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. so oh, Professor Lupin yeah. or with Remus Lupin. Taylor Lautner. Ew, no. <laughs> okay, 23. Zombies, zombies or vampires? Vampires. vampires. <laughs> zombies are, like, creepy. They're, like, dead. But, like, vampires, they're also dead, but they're sort of, like, alive still. Whereas they, they like, have a part of eating. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Okay. Love triangle or forbidden love? Forbidden love. 25, the last question. Full on, on romance or books action, action packed with, with a few love, love scenes. scenes. Okay, well, if it's, like, contemporary, I would, like, prefer, like, full-on love scenes. But if it's, like, the Hunger Games and stuff, like, honestly, if that was, like, all about love and then there was, like, a little bit of action, I'd be like, no, I'm sorry, this is not, like, a, what the yeah. book's about. I would prefer, like, different yeah. things for each book. I, like, really don't care. Like, as as if, there's, if there's an action book and there's romance, it's, like, a plus. And if there's, like, if it's, like, a romance book and there's action, then that's a plus. So it's, I, like... I always want romance. Like, yeah. no matter what kind of book I'm reading, if I'm reading, like... Even if it's, like, a kid's book and they're like, oh, I've had a crush on you, and that's all they say, I seriously just, like, squeal with, like, yeah. delight. So. Even in Disney movies. Yeah. So, romance is always a good place. Okay, and um, I don't really tag anyone because no one actually watches these. But, you know, <laughs> if you... You should like, check out my blog. Yeah, her blog's going to be linked down below. Our combined group blog is linked down below down below my tumblr is down below and my tumblr is down below her tumblr is down below and yeah we will be <laughs> seeing you guys soon maybe i'll
I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Bye.